Hello there and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about Twitch drops and more specifically we're going to go over all of the current Twitch drops for World of Warcraft, uh, how to obtain them, how to link your account, all that good stuff. I know I'm probably a little bit late on this video but you know I thought I'd do a little guide uh, just to tell you how to get all of these awesome items uh, over the next month or so over on Twitch. Speaking of Twitch if you want to watch some World of Warcraft content on Twitch you can follow me on twitch.tv slash MrGM. We're on there every single day uh, playing World of Warcraft, Dragonflight Beta, Dragonflight Launch, uh, Wrath of Chain Classic, any sort of World of Warcraft content. We're over on twitch.tv slash MrGM every single day. Right, so yes, Twitch drops for World of Warcraft. This is the first time in the history of World of Warcraft that we are getting Twitch drops. Now, you're probably sitting there like, what on earth is a Twitch drop? So Twitch drops are essentially things that you can obtain through Twitch through watching streamers. It's been around for a very long time with games Games like ESO, New Worlds and things like that and essentially it's rewarding the viewers for watching that content on Twitch uh, which is pretty cool, pretty great and it's about time they did it for World of Warcraft because it's been a long time, it's been a heavily requested thing and finally we are getting it which is awesome for obviously the creators and of course the players themselves. So let's talk about the setup, how do you get Twitch drops on your channel and how do you receive Twitch drops if you are a viewer? So both of the methods are exactly the same, I believe all you have to do is connect your Battle.net account to your Twitch. This can be done on account.battle.net slash connections. I'm going to leave a link to that in the description below and essentially once you get to that website all you have to do is just link your Twitch account on the list there. It's one of the options there. Just link your Twitch account and you're ready to go. But keep in mind if you change your password or make any changes to your Twitch or Battle.net account you have to relink your account and there'll be a seven day cooldown before you can relink a new Twitch account. Um, but yeah essentially just link your account on the Battle.net website and you're golden ready to go for receiving Twitch drops. Okay, so once all that's done, let's talk about what can you get and when can you get it. So the first Twitch drop is happening right now as of the recording of this video, and that is for the Dragon Kite, the Dragon Kite Pet. This is a TCG item which has been around for a very long time, and now they're giving it out as a Twitch drop. To get this Twitch drop, all you have to do between November 15th and November 18th is watch four hours of World of Warcraft content. Now this is not just one streamer, you can bounce around streamers as much as you like, uh, you just have to watch four hours in total, and once you've completed that, it will take up to 24 hours to receive your pet in game. To check your progress on Twitch drops, just go to the drops and inventory section of Twitch. Uh, it should have a percentage bar there or something like that, but essentially, four hours. You can jump between streams, you can watch one stream, it's completely up to you, or you can watch my stream, that'd be fun. But yeah, that is how you get the Dragon Kite pet in World of Warcraft between November 15th and November 18th. So then we have about a 10 day gap between the next drop, and this is the big one, this is the big drop that everyone's talking about, and that is the Feldrake Mount. Yes, the Feldrake Mount from the trading card game is becoming a Twitch drop for a limited amount of time. This drop will begin on the 28th of November on the moment Dragonflight launches worldwide. So 11 p.m. UK time, 3 p.m. Pacific time. I'm going to put up the map so you can see all the times, but that is essentially going to start the moment Dragonfly launches. You'll be able to start getting time towards your Feldrake mount, and this will last until December 1st, so you've got to watch four hours of a WoW streamer once again uh, between November 28th and December 1st to receive the Feldrake mount. Great looking mount. Uh, obviously a bit of drama there with people who bought it for like $3,000 or whatever, um, but yeah, this is actually going to be obtainable by pretty much everyone who watches Twitch for four hours at a time. Same rules as before, you can jump between streamers and things like that over the time. It's all great. And the final actual Twitch drop is the Perpetual Purple Firework toy. Now this is an interesting one. The wording on the website says select World of Warcraft channels. Now from the dates of this as it starts at the beginning of season one of Dragonflight, uh, it appears that this is going to be for maybe Race to World first streams or people streaming Mythic Plus content or raid content. I don't think this is going to be open to everyone. I would imagine that Blizzard will probably be putting out a list of particular streamers who get this toy, uh, but I believe this one is not going to be for everyone on the WoW section. Uh, but again, not much information at the moment. We're still a little ways off. As said, it's Dragonflight Season 1. That will last until December 28th. So from December 13th to December 28th, the Purple Firework toy will be available on select World of Warcraft channels. Uh, this one is two hours as well, so you don't have to watch uh, four hours of a channel here. It's just two hours. Again, I'm not sure on the channels, but we'll see that uh, as and when. And if, you know, we do get a list of channels, I'll leave them in the description and I'll update the uh, video as such. Um, but yeah, so that one is the final drop. Now there is one more thing which is available, and that is a 
a brand new pet. This is the Ichabod Harvest Golem pet. This is like a new model actually, it's actually a really cute little model. This one is actually really interesting, so you will have to spend money for this if you do want to receive it. Uh, so from November 28th, once again, so from the launch of Dragonflight to December 12th, which is the just before the beginning of Season 1, you can receive this pet by gifting subs on Twitch. So gifted subs are essentially when you pay for someone's subscription to a channel. It's going to cost you around about $10, or depending on your region, but around about $10 or so so uh, to gift two subs during this time to select World of Warcraft channels. Now it recently come out that there's a Google form going around that streamers are filling out, so it looks like a lot of the WoW section uh, will be doing this, but obviously check with your favorite WoW streamers uh, whether or not they're going to have this, and you can support them financially and you get a pet out of it. But hopefully nearer the time we'll find out more details on the specific streamers that will receive this, and hopefully it is a lot of the WoW section. I think limiting this to just like the big boys and things like that is a rich get richer situation, which is awful in any situation exclusive drops in general I think are really just horrible for everyone involved so hopefully this is something that everyone in the WoW Twitch section uh, can provide to their viewers uh, obviously we'll find out more details uh, hopefully very soon about the Golem pet and the specifics on that and of course the specifics on the perpetual purple firework toy which yeah as mentioned I think is going to be to do a season one it's mentioned in the video season one so yeah probably race to our first streamers and people that do season one content but we know for now that the Feldrake and and of course, the Dragon Kite are available to everyone. So guys, thank you very much for watching. Let me know down below what you think of Twitch drops. Are you gonna be getting Twitch drops? Who are you gonna be watching while getting those Twitch drops? I'd love to know. Uh, also, what do you like to see through Twitch drops? At the moment, we've obviously got some TCG items and a custom pet. I would personally love to see some of the thousands of unused mount colors that are in the game files, literally thousands of them that are just going unused add them through Twitch drops. That'll be a great thing for viewers and a great thing for creators as well. I definitely think Twitch drops are going to become uh, a common place in World of Warcraft over the next couple years. I really hope so anyway. Uh, it's definitely boosted a lot of streamers, including myself, so thank you very much if anyone has got the Dragon Kite through me. I really do appreciate you guys supporting the stream. That's so awesome. Yeah, I think just generally speaking, it's a really cool feature. Uh, it's great for viewers. It's great for channels. Uh, I know there's people that don't watch Twitch, which, you know, does suck for them, but maybe they'll come over to Twitch. Twitch is fun, and live streaming is, is, is a fun little thing to watch. But, and even if you don't want to watch the stream, you can just mute it or whatever and just have it on in the background, get your free toy or pet. Yeah, I don't know. It's up to you. But guys, thank you very much for watching. Before I go, let's give a massive shout out to my amazing patrons, YouTube channel members, and Twitch subs. You guys are awesome. If you'd like to support the channel in any of those ways, links are down below. So leave a like on this video, guys, if you liked it, and subscribe if you haven't. I've also got a partner Discord channel with over 3,000 members. And as mentioned, I am now streaming on twitch.tv slash MrGM. If you want to come get your Twitch drops, I'm going to be streaming the Dragonflight launch, of course. I've been streaming Dragonflight beta and alpha since the beginning, and it's been super fun over on Twitch. I've been having a great time over there. So if you want to check me out, guys, twitch.tv slash MrGM every single day. And with that, guys, I'll see you next time.